THA to complete its accounting transition by 2017, most students get a pre-SEA pep talk and Sancocha big hit at Borrow Day celebration. Info update. Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews. reviews. Along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. The Tobago House of Assembly is currently taking steps to improve its financial record management systems. The Chief Administrator in the THA, Ray Sandy, said that many of the discrepancies in the Auditor General's report are based on outdated record-keeping systems. He said the Assembly engaged the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Trinidad and Tobago and was advised to adopt the International Public Sector Accounting Standard as the accounting framework for the purpose of financial reporting. The Chief Administrator also pointed out that before 2014, there was no formal financial reporting framework for public accounting bodies in Trinidad and Tobago, including central government and local government entities. He said it was agreed by the appropriate bodies in the central government that the THA would commence the accrual accounting format as a pilot project for the country. This would replace a cash-based accounting method. Mr. Sandy says the accrual method will allow the records to be maintained regardless of when cash is released. The Assembly also developed a transition plan which will see the THA fully compliant by fiscal 2017. That transition began on September 20, 2014. The pre-SCA distribution drive continued earlier today. This time it was the Chief Secretary of London and the Assistant Secretary for Health and Social Services, Sheldon Cunningham, who visited schools in the Mason Hall and Scarborough District. Davia Chambers was there and tells us more. Mr. London visited Standard 5 students at seven schools. At the North Regional SDA Primary School, he encouraged the students to do their best come Thursday, reminding them that they've already put in the hard work. Good school, good teacher, good principal, good preparation. So the rest is up to you. Mr. Cunningham, who accompanied the Chief Secretary, told the students that asking for spiritual guidance before their examinations is critical. Whatever information your teachers have given to you will reflect success on Thursday. And after you look back and say, I have put God first in everything I do, and he has made me the successful person I am today. The team also visited Mason Hall Government Primary, Campbell's Preparatory, Scarborough SDA, Scarborough RC, Scarborough Methodist Primary, and St. Andrew's Anglican. All students received stationary kits to write their exams on Thursday. I'm Davia Chambers for Info Update. We shift gears again to tell you that Tobago made quite an impression at last weekend's Borough Day celebrations. Umadara Mills has that report. A contingent from the Division of Community Development and the Culture entertained the patrons attending the Point 14 Borough Day celebrations by giving them a preview of the Tobago Heritage Festival. The group led a street parade of Tambu Bamboo, Rhythm Section and Tobago Traditional Folk Characters. The theme of the celebrations was San Coach. At the official program, the chief executive officer of the Point 14 Borough Corporation said that the municipality is the only one that hosts an event which provides education on Tobago. She extended her gratitude to the Assembly for participating in the 35th anniversary celebrations and for their contributions to making Tobago Day a success. The administrator in the division, Claire Davidson Williams, explained a sandwich is a mixture of different meats stewed with coconut milk to get a rich flavored pot. She drew reference that the evening's stage production would be a mixture of Tobago's culture. The assistant secretary in the Division of Community Development and the Culture, Ansel Dennis, described the event as a partnership which allowed the sharing of cultures. I'm Omar Mills for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update. Tima will test its early warning systems on Thursday, May 7th from 11.30 a.m. to 12 noon. The early warning system will be tested on the first Thursday of each month when the sirens will sound. This is just a routine test and not an evacuation warning. Are you disaster ready? Let's do it together.